We all get upset about social injustice on some level. Normal people get upset about things like unarmed people being killed, uh, systemic oppression, racism, and bigotry, right? Um, here's what people who are not normal, here's what they get upset about. Anti-masker parents formed a mob, an angry mob, because their school system reinstated a mask mandate policy. The mob of parents threatened and heckled everyone who decided to wear a mask. Here's some of that video. Everybody's taking notes, buddy. Keep that little smug. Yeah. Put your mask on. Kids stuck in that back here. How you like that? They, we know who you are. We know who you are. Keep it calm. No more masks. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. No more masks. We're on these guys' side. They're no, on our side. No, they're not. They're not on our side. The police are on our side. The police are on our side. On our side. Calm down. Calm down. Yes. Calm down. We, we know who you are. We know who you are. We know who you are. You can leave freely, but we will find you, and we know who you are. You will never be allowed in public again. I know who you are. I know who you are. Let them out. Let's let them out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Everyone, peace. 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 This is happening because people are wearing a mask, that's a personal decision. This is happening because the school system said we now must reapply the mandate for children to wear masks because they are suffering. This is what these individuals got upset about. According to details from NBC News, children have shown more symptoms with the Delta variant of the coronavirus than with previous strains. And they have increasingly been hospitalized in recent weeks. Children's hospitals in states that have high transmission rates have begun to battle bed shortages. NBC News reported that recently, okay? The FDA, Food and Drug Administration, has issued emergency use authorizations for COVID-19 vaccines for adults and children over the age of 12, leaving younger children more vulnerable to infection. The FDA said last month that it hopes to offer authorization for children under 12 by early to mid winter. Um, let me go to what happened inside of this meeting, okay? There's a person that calls themselves a Hollywood star. Um, she had some stint of success, but here's what she said at the meeting. Hi, my name's Lee Allen Baker and I'm a California refugee. <laughs> I gave up everything there, a really successful Hollywood career, television shows, gave it all up for freedom and to come to this friendly place in Tennessee and be greeted with open arms and I love it here. Um, I wanted to tell you that I have two vaccine injured children and they have medical exemptions because after the seizures and the hospitalizations, after all of their immunizations, I was granted obviously a medical exemption. So my children are those rare children that will just not be able to get the vaccine. And still, I would never put them in a mask because their brain needs oxygen to grow, which the neurologist can confirm. Uh, anyway, the real part of the clown show is that you all think that you actually have the authority to mandate this. Because um, there are these books that I have, and I have them as a gift for you. The Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, yes, the Bill of Rights and the Federalist Papers, and also the Bible. And these guarantee my freedom and yours and our children's to breathe oxygen. Fascinating. 